Hey everyone, uh, John Cheatham here back with another five minute fix and today we're in the fairway bunker. So the objective here really is to, is to get the ball obviously out of the sand but try and progress it as far as you can to try and get some distance on the hole. Um, so the first thing I say is assess the lip of the bunker. Now this one here, um, there's a little bit of height on the bunker. So, you know, generally it's below my hip height. So I sort of work on if the, body, if the lip of the bunker is below my hip height, I've got an option here to use like a good mid iron and progress it uh, down the fairway. If I find the bunker is above my hip height, then I would generally take a medicine, get it back in play um, and just try and get back on the fairway. But this situation here, and if you've got a fairway bunker at your club, just see how high it is first. If it's below your hip, generally you've got a great chance of progressing it further. So the key thing in bunker play, when I'm playing fairway bunkers, here's my top tips really. We want to try and get the ball um, as cleanly as we can and almost try and visualise getting the sand after the ball. So the worst thing we can do with fairway bunkers and a lot of people try and do, once they get us up to the ball, they take the backswing and the weight tends to fall back because they want to try and help it out. The club hits the sand, that kills all the speed. So if you can see here the little drill we've got set up in the bunker, and if you've got time for a practice bunker, just have a look at this. To select your ball and the sand, I've just drawn a little square here afterwards, and that gives me the focus point of trying to hit the ball, and then I want to take out this box of sand afterwards. So I would really encourage my club to come down, catch the ball first, and continue to go down the sand, and the loft of the club will lift it up and set it nice and, nice and far. So that focus point after the sand, it's a really good drill to try. I appreciate on a round of golf, we can't, we can't draw in the sand, but you can have that visual um, aim of someone just after the ball to focus you and really drive you through the sand. So it's a good tip. Works for a lot of people that think somewhere after the ball on fairway bunker shots. Then we get into the shot. And the other tip I like to give a lot of golf fairway shots. So ball position here, just forward of centre. And then personally, I like to grip the club a little bit tighter than I would do normally. Okay, now often in golf it's advantageous to be more relaxed, but in the bunkers, if we just grip a little tighter, what that'll do is that'll tighten my muscles, maybe allow that club to hit a little bit cleaner on the ball. If I'm super relaxed, I might be more inclined to it into the sand a bit early. So I'll grip pressure up a little bit, and all we're looking to do then is try and hit the ball first, take out that box of sand afterwards. Well, let's give it a go here. There we go. I probably won't hit a better one than that all day. Um, that was perfect. And if we can see here in the sand, the ball was right there. And I've continued to go down. I've totally cleaned out that box. I've hit a six iron there. So a six iron, I've got the ball a really good distance on that. I'm really happy with the sound. Um, so that's a really good tip which can work. Um, in bunker play, notice for the backswing, I've stayed nice and still here, but my focus is very much after the ball and not where I'll see a lot of golfers backing up and catching the sand too early, which kills all the speed. So a couple of nice points there, one drill, one thought with the, with the grip pressure going tighter, but on the golf course, think about a point after the ball and that'll get you striking the ball really nice. So hope that helps improve your fairway bunker shots. Be sure to uh, subscribe to our Ladies Love Golf YouTube channel um, to look at all the videos, these five minute fixes are proving really popular with everyone just getting some little thoughts to improve the game every week. So I'll be filming some more tips very soon. Hope you enjoyed that one and uh, I'll be back very, very shortly with more five minute fixes.